Hello everyone, Apple Arcade has added 5 new games to their selection for November 1st. So let's take a look at these 5 new games. They are Monomals, Mosaic, Starfetched, Super Mega Mini Party, and Jumper John. Monomals offers 21 levels, a music creator, and 3 different animal DJs. Basically your animal DJ has a stereo plug that he goes fishing with in order to catch a variety of monomals to create hit music. This game has some really nice graphics and you can tell they did a lot of work on the whole look and feel of this game. The graphics are crisp, cartoony, and the gameplay is pretty easy and goes at a quick pace. Movement on the iPhone is done using the left thumb as the directional stick and the right thumb as the thrust button to defeat enemies. There are puzzle solving aspects and the control of the plug reminds me a lot of Echo the Dolphin if you've ever played that on the Sega Genesis. After catching a monomal at the end of the level, you are then given a music building interface which you can use to create your own tunes, all with copy and paste abilities. You can even add percussion, guitar, and keyboard to your creations. It's a nice variety of different things you can do, and I'm sure there will be some crazy musical creations by users as time goes by. I really like the graphics and social features where you can use your creativity to win competitions and have people download your compilations. I'll be checking on this one to listen to other users' musical creations and to see how that influences the game. Mosaic is a dark game based on a dude who lives a lonely and repetitive life in an ever-growing city. Real life things happen here, like checking your phone for email and messages from the bank and other people. At first glance, I thought the graphics were very unique. And then some weird stuff happens in this game also. And then you get thrown into this side game where you have to fill these shapes in and make sure you're dedicating enough resources to each branch. And that's more thinking than I want to do in a game. In my opinion, this isn't my cup of tea. I like to be entertained when I play games and this game wasn't very entertaining. And going through the repetitive motions of real life activities isn't very exciting to me. I probably won't be playing this one very much. Starfetched is based on a space adventurer who is transported to a different solar system and trying to eliminate the alien onslaught. You get the point. At first this starts as your regular run-of-the-mill platformer where you can jump and shoot. The weapon you start off with barely has any range, and I liken it to one of those ping pong paddles with the ball that bounces back to it. Here's a tip, after defeating the boss, make sure you use your double jump ability and jumping off walls ability to get out of there. You get to buy stuff from shops to upgrade your weapons, and then the game turns into a tower defense type game. You have to build turrets to help and defend your spacecraft from attacking aliens and you must repair these turrets to prevent aliens from damaging your craft. I haven't gotten very far in this game, but I look forward to seeing the weapon upgrades and abilities. The tower defense aspect is neat and a nice change of pace from your regular platformer. I do like the Ren and Stimpy inspired graphics and I'll probably be playing this one some more. Super Mega Mini Party is a fun party game where you can invite your friends to compete in a variety of games. The games are Cannons of Chaos, Jet Pig, Lava Leap, Lunatic Lander, Minor Threat, Motocross Mayhem, Penguin Plop, and Spruce Lee. In Cannons of Chaos, you're basically maneuvering your ship into position to fire cannons at your opponent's ships. The first one to not get sunk wins. And here's a tip. Make sure you look around for power-ups like the triple cannon and speed boost to help you out. In Jet Pig, you're trying to use your thrust in order to get farther into the level. Obstacles like fans and pinball bumpers will hinder your progress. Find the canisters and fly through rings to get more thrust. In Lava Leap, you're just trying to make sure you're on the outermost ground so you don't fall into the lava. You have to time your jumps accordingly and be the last one standing to win. Lunatic Lander will challenge your patience and ability to maneuver your ship to retrieve your comrade. And what goes up must come down. You must land your ship first in order to win the match. Minor Threat is basically hot potato. You just push a direction and the dynamite will land in yours or someone else's lap. Just make sure you're not holding the dynamite when it blows up. In Motocross Mayhem, you must be the first one to cross the finish line. 
you have a limited turbo boost that can only be replenished by doing successful flips. There are obstacles on the way and you can crash by landing upside down, so make sure you land on your wheels and you'll be on your way to the finish line. Penguin Plot will test your jumping ability. Just jump over the creatures that will eventually knock your penguin into the water. Here's a tip. Your penguin can't fly, but he can hover for a short period of time. Hold down your jump button a little longer so he flaps his wings and stays in the air a little longer. You'll definitely need this for the walruses. In Spruce Lee, just be the first one to press the correct combination of directions shown on the screen to chop the tree down. I'll definitely be playing this one because I like multiplayer games and it's so much more fun when you're not playing against a computer but a real person on the other side. And the last game we're going to take a look at is Jumper John. Your character is in hell and you'll be going on a mission to find your friend Jane to fix the balance of good and evil on earth. Still with me? This game is another platformer which adds the twist of you having to survive for 30 seconds before your character dies. In order to increase your 30 second timer, you have to find the feathers throughout the stages. Each feather increases your life by another 30 seconds. The countdown gets annoying after a while, and I don't like the fact that you're constantly racing against the clock. I probably won't be playing this one because of that game mechanic. Sure, it's different, but even Super Mario Bros. had a timer longer than 30 seconds. And look how fun that game is. And that completes my overview of these 5 new Apple Arcade games. If you felt this video was informative, please like and subscribe to get notifications of new videos that I release. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any favorites amongst these games. My favorites are Super Mega Mini Party for its variety and Monimals for the graphics and the fact that you can create your own music and have it rank among other users. Thanks for watching and have an amazing day.